today today we shall see the how to increase the capacity of cylinders so how to increase the pressure capacity of cylinders using concept of the residual stresses so i think uh, sahil uh, you are doing the project on the uh, i think uh, on a residual stresses itself i think साहिल मेरा आवाज आ रहा है क्या साहिल ओके सो ठीक है सो व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ रेजर्व स्ट्रेसेस रेजर्व स्ट्रेस मीन्स क्या होता है सपोज इफ यू टेक एनी कंपोनेंट सो इफ यू टेक एनी कंपोनेंट सो व्हाट एपन्स इज सपोज लेट अस से दैट दैट कंपोनेंट विल बी सब्जेक्टेड टू द सम टेंसाइल लोड्स आफ्टर ड्यूरिंग द यूज मतलब जब वो कंपोनेंट और प्रोडक्ट को यूज करने के टाइम पे तो उसको लोड कौन सा टाइप का लोड अप्लाई होता है so let us say it is a tensile load so in that case so suppose if i say that if i am going to induce some compressive stress in that material before i am going to use it suppose say that uh, material strength is uh, 250 mpa 250 newton per mm square so it is material strength so in that case what happens is so how much stress it can sustain so 250 only jitna strength hai to utna stress ko sustain karega suppose if the material strength is 250 suppose if i am if i induce some compressive stresses before i am going to use so let us say that i am going to induce some compressive stresses of 50 newton per एम एम स्क्वायर मैं क्या करता हूँ फिफ्टी एम पी ए का फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल का मैं कॉम्प्रेस स्ट्रेस को पहले इंड्यूस करता हूँ पहले उसको ऊपर इंड्यूस करके उसके बाद यूज करना स्टार्ट करता हूँ तो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वॉट एपन इज सो मटेरियल स्ट्रेंथ वट एवर इट इज टू फिफ्टी सो इंस्टेड ऑफ टू फिफ्टी इट विल बिकम टू फिफ्टी प्लस फिफ्टी कॉम्प्रेस स्ट्रेस That means it will be become total 300 newton per mm square. Because whenever I am going to apply the tensile load, so initially what happens is already there is a 50 mpa, uh, 50 uh, newton per mm square. There is a compressive stress in the material. When I am going to apply the tensile load on that particular body, particular part, till the tensile load become 50. So when the tensile load will become 50, what happens is So net stress induced, a uh, stress applied on the that particular body is zero because there is already fifty newton per mm square. So there is a compressive stress already present. So there is a fifty newton per mm square compressive stress already present. So in this way, by inducing the some stresses, compressive stresses, so we can increase the capacity of the any part so in cylinder also same concept is used so there are different methods so by which we can increase the capacity of cylinders that is so increasing the capacity of cylinders means inducing the stresses in the cylinders is called auto frittage so inducing the stresses in the uh, cylinder is called the auto frittage so this is called the pre stressing pre stressing means so before i am going to use the that particular cylinder so i am going to induce some stresses in that cylinder 
देखो वेन द सिलेंडर सब्जेक्टेड टू द इंटरनल प्रेशर दट इज पी आई तो वेन द सिलेंडर सब्जेक्टेड टू द इंटरनल प्रेशर पी आई होप स्ट्रेस सिग्मा टी लिमिट द प्रेशर कैपेसिटी मीन्स सिग्मा टी इज द मैक्सिम स्ट्रेस इंड्यूस इन द सिलेंडर so when there is the internal pressure so you can see so this is the stress distribution this is sigma t and this is sigma r means it is tangential stress and it is radial stress so you can see here tangential stress maximum at the inner surface and minimum at the outer surface and radial stress is zero at the outer surface and maximum at the inner surface so at inner surface sigma r is equal to minus pi so this is inner diameter of cylinder and this is outer diameter of cylinder so here auto frittage that is free stressing so what is meaning of this is auto frittage is a method to increase the pressure capacity of cylinder so it is the method so which is used to increase the pressure capacity of cylinders so this is specifically used in hp cylinder that is hydraulic pressure cylinder and gun barrels so you can see that gun barrels so barrels which are used in the guns so they should be thin and should have the high pressure capacity so wherever the pressure capacity should requirement is high for a small dimensions so in that case so this technique is used to increase the capacity of the cylinders so free stressing is done by different methods so first one is overloading of overloading method of auto frittage so if you subject the if the cylinder is subjected to the immense pressure which causes the internal parts of vessel to yield matlab so if before you are going to use them so if you apply certain pressure more pressure immense pressure so what happens is it will yield the that parts yield means there is some deformation thus resulting in internal compressive residual stresses so this is very important whenever you do some work on the material so it will induce some stresses so which are called the residual stresses so these are the internal stresses so main uh, what you can say purpose is purpose of this auto frittage is to it increases the pressure capacity of cylinder for a given dimension it increases the pressure capacity of the cylinder second is residual compressive stresses close the cracks so if there are any cracks present earlier so it will close the cracks next for same thickness of cylinder can be used for pi more than design matlab whenever we design the cylinder so we design it for particular internal pressure so if you if you apply this auto frittage that is pre stressing so that cylinder can be used for more pressure than for what it is designed jitna value ke liye design kiya rehta hai usse zyada pressure ko bhi hum usko use kar sakte hain so this is about uh pre stressing by overloading so second one is wire wound method of auto frittage wire or oh, wire wound so wire means here the wire under tension is closely wound the cylinder results in the residual compressive stresses so you can see here so this is a cylinder so isme kya kiya ye wire ko that is metallic wires ko so it is wound on the cylinder 
उसके ऊपर क्या क्या उसको वाउंडिंग किए विथ टाइटली सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वॉट एपन सी सो इट विल इनक्रीज द इट विल इंड्यूस द कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेस इन द सिलेंडर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सो कैपेसिटी ऑफ द सिलेंडर इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज सो दिस इज द सेकेंड मेथड टू इंक्रीज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द सिलेंडर So next is third one is compounding of cylinder. Compounding of cylinders. So compounding means it is combination of cylinders. Combination. Compounding means it is one over the another. So here what what we are going to do is two concentric cylinder. Two concentric cylinder with. आउटर सिलेंडर श्रंक ऑन टू इनर वन मतलब आउटर सिलेंडर सो इट इज कॉल्ड द जैकेट सो इट इज ए इनर सिलेंडर सो इट इज कॉल्ड दिंपली इट इज ए सिलेंडर सो अदरवाइज यू कैन से इट इज इनर सिलेंडर एंड इट इज आउटर सिलेंडर सो वेन आई से सिलेंडर इट इज जस्ट इनर सिलेंडर वेन आई से जैकेट इट इज आउटर सिलेंडर so here this jacket is shrunk on the cylinder iske upar wo fit kiya jata hai by heating shrunk fitting so isliye kya ho jata hai so it will going to get the tight fitting on the inner cylinder so because of this what happens is it induces residual compressive stresses in the inner cylinder so because of this fitting shrunk fitting of this jacket on the cylinder so it induces residual compressive stresses on inner cylinder so because of this so again the dimensions are going to sorry the capacity of the cylinder is going to increases so you can see the, this is a stress distribution of the compound cylinder abhi jo dekho so this is a compound cylinder so if you place one this jacket over the cylinder this is a jacket outer cylinder and this is a inner cylinder d1 means it is inner diameter of cylinder d2 means it is outer diameter of cylinder and inner diameter of jacket d3 means it is outer diameter of the jacket so you can see here so true dimensions are it is okay so type of fitting here is so abhi jacket ko kaise fit kiya jata hai cylinder ke upar so by shrunk fitting so that you need to understand so we have some problems on this so we are going to solve the problems on this dekho here delta indicates that is so after fitting so this much dimensions is going to reduces iska jo dimension hota hai so it is also d2 so the uh, delta represent deflection yes, direction on yes, 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 yes. that is delta means it is deformation after fitting deformation okay yeah. okay so you can see this figure so this uh, figure indicates the stress distribution for inner and outer cylinder dekho for this inner cylinder so when it is subjected to the internal pressure so cylinder jab sub, cylinder when subjected to the internal pressure this is sigma t and this is sigma r sigma t dekho so this is sigma t is ha huh. when you are going to fit this cylinder this jacket and the cylinder so what type of fit what type of fit it is it is a shrunk fitting so shrunk fitting means just it is like a, what you can say uh, bearings when you fit the bearings with some certain pressure this jacket ko hum easily fit nahi kar sakte iske upar so we have to apply some pressure 
इसके वजह से क्या होता है सो देर इज अमेस इंड्यूस ऑन दे दिस सर्फेस ऑल्सो एंड दिस सर्फेस ऑल्सो मीन्स स्ट्रेसेस इज गोइंग टू इंड्यूस ऑन दे आउटर सर्फेस ऑफ सिलेंडर तो आउटर सर्फेस ऑफ सिलेंडर एंड इनर सर्फेस ऑफ द जॉकेट तो दैट अगेन उसके बाद क्या होता है वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो जाता है पूरा सिलेंडर एंड जॉकेट के ऊपर सो दैट प्रेशर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फिटिंग सो वट एवर दैट प्रेशर क्रिएट्स सो दैट इज कॉल्ड द श्रिंकिंग प्रेशर सो दैट इज कॉल्ड द श्रिंकिंग प्रेशर देखो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रेशर सो स्ट्रेसिस विल इंड्यूस इन द इनर सिलेंडर तो इनर सिलेंडर के ऊपर देखो सिग्मा टी सिग्मा टी इज गोइंग टू इंड्यूस compressive it will be compressive you can see here so it is minimum at the surface and maximum at the inner surface sigma t and this is sigma r this is sigma t and this is sigma r on inner cylinder sigma t is maximum minimum at the outer surface and maximum at the inner surface and sigma r is जीरो एट इनर सर्फेस मैग्जिम एट दउटर सर्फेस देखो सिग्मा इज मैग्जिम एट दउटर सर्फेस फॉर दिस फिटिंग सो उसके बाद दिस इज जॉकेट सो ऑन द जॉकेट यू कैन सी दिस इज दैट इज मैग्जिम एट दउटर सर्फेस एंड मिनिमम एट दॉरी मैग्जिम एट द So stress is maximum at the inner surface and minimum at the outer surface. So this sigma r value is it is minimum at the outer surface and maximum at the inner surface. So this sigma r on this jacket and this uh, cylinder. So this is represented by this curve. So this portion is represented from this point to this point. Zero to maximum. That is zero to maximum, and maximum to zero. That is maximum to zero. That means from inner surface to the outer surface, from outer to the inner surface. So this stress distribution indicates the gives the distribution of the radial stress because of the shrinkage pressure, and this gives the tangential stress. distribution okay so this stress this uh, figure gives the tangential stress distribution okay so this portion is for cylinder so you can see so this is negative and this portion is for the is of the jacket that is outer cylinder so this Gives the stress distribution for the tangential stress that is sigma t. So here we can observe that after shrinking, so on the inner cylinder, so it will induce some compressive stresses. That is sigma t is compressive in nature. So because this is called the residual stresses. So because of this, when I apply the some internal uh, uh, when I when when there is some internal pressure so internal pressure because of internal pressure sigma t is tensile in nature on the, in the inner cylinder so because of that what happens is so already there is a compressive stress is present so because of that so its capacity of the cylinder is going to increase so everyone have understood about the concept of रेजोडियल स्ट्रेसेस समझ में आया ना सभी को यस सर मनीष अभी आवाज आ रही है क्या क्लियरली हाँ सर ओके ठीक है so next is a uh, deformation in jacket and cylinder okay so
So deformation in jacket and cylinder formula is given by. So these are directly uh, empirical formulas. So delta J is deformation of jacket, uh, deformation in jacket, okay, and delta C means it is deformation in cylinder. So so you just need to remember this formula. So this is very uh, important. That is deformation. That is given by the P D two by E. So into the bracket two D two square. That is in the bracket D three square minus D one square by D three square minus D two square. Again another another bracket. It is D two square minus D one square. See, so this is the deformation of the jacket delta J. and this is the deformation of the delta c means it is deformation of the cylinder delta means it is total deformation so next deformation so normally deformation is this formula is used in the problems so where you need to understand p means it is a shrinkage pressure and e means it is angst modulus so you will get the questions in the mcqs normally okay so let us go to the one problem okay let go so problem here a high pressure cylinder consists of a steel tube with inner and outer diameter of 20 and 40 mm respectively so here there is a steel high pressure cylinder consists of steel tube with inner and outer diameter is 20 and 40 mm respectively dekho d1 equal 20 mm and d2 equal to 40 mm it is jacketed by an outer steel tube having an outer diameter of 60 mm so outer diameter of the jacket is 60 mm so inner diameter normally deta nahi jacket ka kyunki already outer diameter of the cylinder is equal to the inner diameter of the jacket the tubes are assembled by sinking process dekho so this is very important the tubes both are assembled by using the shrinking process in such a way that maximum principal stress induced in any tube is limited to the 100 newton per mm square means it is maximum shrinkage pressure sink, uh, maximum shrinkage pressure should be such that the so, tubes are assembled in by shrinking process in such a way that maximum principal stress induced in any tube is limited to the 100 newton per mm square jo stress hai to 100 newton mm square se zyada nahi hona chahiye that that is the limitation calculate the shrinkage pressure and original dimensions of the tube so we need to calculate the shrinkage pressure and original dimensions of the tube so normally what we do is देखो इसमें क्या होता है जो वट एवर द सिलेंडर सो इसमें कंपाउंड सिलेंडर में कितना पार्ट होता है सो देर आर टू सिलेंडर सो इन साइड वन इट इज कॉल्ड सिलेंडर एंड आउटसाइड इट इज कॉल्ड द जैकेट सो वेन वी आर गोइंग टू असेंबल देम जो जैकेट रहता है तो उसी को हीट करके सिलेंडर के ऊपर उसको प्रेस किया जाता है तो इसके वजह से वी नॉर्मली अज्यूम दैट वेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेस only cylinder only jacket dimensions are going to changes so that i am going to explain it later on okay so first let us go by step by step so humko kya find karne ke idhar kya calculation karne ke shrinkage pressure and original dimensions of the tubes so if you want to find the shrinkage pressure so use this equation that is sigma t is equal to so what is the sigma t formula 
So that is sigma t is equal to p into d3 square plus d2 square by d3 square minus d2 square. So why I am using this formula? So it is important here. Here, is the kya limited stress limited to 100 newton per mm square. So stress is limited to 100 newton per mm square. Okay. So directly you go to this formula that is sigma t is equal to p into d3 square plus d2 square by d3 square minus d2 square. So how many boundary condition may different different boundary condition may so sigma t ke value amne dekha hai ki is that is in table. So, which I shown in the previous lectures. Okay. So, I'm just... Uh, Okay, just remember this form this formula so that I think we have seen in the previous slides. So it is we can see it afterwards. P into d d3 square plus d2 square by d3 square minus d2 square. So if you substitute the value of sigma t and diameter values, so in this equation, so what we get is so we will get the value of p that is shrinkage pressure. So limiting stress is given is 100 into is equal to p into d3 square d3 is 60 d3 square plus d2 square d2 is 40 60 square plus 40 square divided by 60 square minus 40 square so if you calculate this so you will get the value of p is equal to 38.46 newton per mm square so this is the shrinkage pressure so one parameter we have calculated that is shrinkage pressure. So next is original dimensions of the tube. Deco, before we are going to find the original dimensions, so we need to find the deformation that is delta. So which I have shown you the formula earlier one. Delta is equal to PD2 by 2 uh, E into bracket. 2d2 square into bracket d3 square minus d1 square by d3 square minus d2 square again in another bracket d2 square minus d1 square so all the diameter values abhi jo apne shrinkage pressure ko abhi just calculation kiya so shrinkage pressure value and angst modulus so angst modulus is already given in the problem that is 207 kilo newton per mm square Shrinkage pressure is 38.46. So all the diameter values also given. D1, D2, and D3. Substitute all the values. P 38.46. Angst modulus is 207 into K. It is given in kilo. It is 10 to 3. So again, you substitute all the diameter values. So then deformation is given by delta is equal to so 0 0.0317 mm. So if time completes, join again. So I think 40 minutes for a. So you just join again. Abhi main end karto abe. Isko again join karo. So delta value is equal to how much we got is 0 0.0317 mm. So next is, so what we need to find in the problem is, 
ओरिजिनल डायमेंशन ऑफ द ट्यूब तो अभी जो पहले पैरामीटर था उसको हमने कैलकुलेशन किया है प्रेशर तो ओरिजिनल डायमेंशन ऑफ ट्यूब इज क्यून बाय ट्यूब में देखो इनर डायमीटर ऑफ सिलेंडर एंड आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ जैकेट तो दे आर ऑलरेडी गिवन दे आर दे विल नेवर चेंज तो ओनली क्या होता है जो दोनों का बीच में कॉन्टेक्ट में आता है दैट इज डी टू डायमीटर ऑफ बोथ सिलेंडर एंड जैकेट देखो आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ इनर ट्यूब तो देर आर टू सिलेंडर यू नो ऑलरेडी ओके सो आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ इनर ट्यूब इज गिवन बाय इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एम एम तो श्रिंकिंग करने के बाद सो वॉट वी एज मेज इनर डायमीटर ऑफ द आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ द इनर ट्यूब मतलब जो सिलेंडर आता है तो उसका आउटर डायमीटर में कुछ चेंज नहीं होता है सो वेन यू आर गोइंग टू मेक द श्रिंकिंग प्रोसेस ओनली जॉकेट का जो इनर डायमीटर है वो ही चेंज होता है लेकिन जो आउटर डायमीटर है सिलेंडर का वो चेंज नहीं होता है तो इसलिए ओरिजिनल डायमेंशन में तो वी टेक इट एज ए आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ इनर ट्यूब इज फोर्टी एम एम मतलब D2 का जो भी वैल्यू है दैट इज आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ इनर ट्यूब एंड नेक्स्ट इज इनर डायमीटर ऑफ द जैकेट सो इनर डायमीटर ऑफ जैकेट इज गिवन बाय D2 टू माइनस डेल्टा तो इनर डायमीटर ऑफ जैकेट इज गिवन बाय D2 टू माइनस डेल्टा मीन इट इज फोर्टी माइनस पॉइंट जीरो थ्री वन सेवन So that's why it is because it will become thirty nine point nine six eight three mm. So this is how so you can solve the problems on the deformation and shrinkage pressure. Also, original dimensions of the cylinder and tube, cylinder and jacket. Okay, so any doubts in the whatever we covered today? So about auto fittings and uh, problems, what is all? Tomorrow I am going to solve the some uh, uh, pressure problems. That is some big problems on the stress distribution in the cylinder. Cylinder को ऊपर stress कैसे distribution होता है? In case of compound cylinder. So from inner surface to the outer surface, that so how the stresses are going to changes. So any doubts? Manish, any doubt? Okay. No sir, no sir. Okay, my. I will end the lecture. Ko, so I am going to sign off now. Okay. So again. Yes sir. and the next lecture okay take care bye